On this edition of Savatech TV, see how Savatech Corporation's North American headquarters in Daytona Beach, Florida, played host to a cutting edge training class that paired firefighters with tow truck operators, working together to rescue patients, tackling different accident scenarios as a unified team. Veteran safety trainers from the New York City Police Department, George Krant and Randy Miller, were brought in to lead the event. Uh, Randy Miller from the New York City Police Department, where I'm a rescue team manager for the Urban Search and Rescue Task Force. The interaction between the two agencies, getting everybody to understand and respect each other in their job performance and what they can both do to help each other out in a crisis situation. That way they're not trying to work this out over the hood of a car on the side of the interstate. They're here training together, they'll have a better feel for each other, and that will lead to a better outcome. The Jerdan Corporation, a division of the Oshkosh Corporation, along with several towing companies, donated their time and resources to bring in heavy equipment. Jason Avis of Edgewater Towing in Edgewater, Florida, was brought in to help set up the scenarios and assist with the rescue operations, showing off the benefits of having a rotator on scene during a crisis. I'm here because uh, we work with the fire departments in our local area and to help train with them and show them some of the tools that we have that I can help them with in emergency situations. Well, it just allows them to have an understanding of what I can do to help them. I'm just another tool in their truck. Um, you know, they can call me, I can come out and help them. I can do stuff that they can do as well in a quarter of the time. Classroom instruction was followed by several mock accident scenarios outside in Savatech's training yard. This hands-on experience let the men try these tools out, often for the first time. Also offered the chance to watch and learn from each other. So in this scenario, we have a car that's underneath the tractor trailer. We're going to have the fire rescue guys go with their first attack, and we're going to have the wrecker operators come in and support and assist them. And then at the end, we're going to have both sides look at it and say, what can we do different, and how can we work together for a better possible outcome? What do we think? How do we make out? Now, at that point when we're lifting with the boom, what's our primary stabilization device? The boom is. And again, I'm going to let Jason talk in a second about how much more this truck can do and lift. But yeah, he's got this. And what was nice was when we went in and started doing the extrication on the passenger side, and we started spreading with the spreader to make more room for the cutter, we actually moved the trailer. The guys on scene were witness to the capabilities of lifting cushions as well. Several versions of the recovery lifting bags are manufactured by Savatech Corporation and are used by towing and fire rescue operations worldwide. This is called the Maxi Lift Recovery System, showing everyone on scene what inflatables can accomplish. Air cushion recovery is uh, it's an art and when an operator has it, it lends credibility to the whole system. It's just another item to go alongside a rotating wrecker, standard heavy duty wrecker, that gives the tow operator added stability um, and makes his operation safer, especially when he's recovering a loaded trailer. A loaded trailer, when it comes over, is far more prone to breaking or damage based on the weight and the load shifting inside the trailer. The support of these bags along the underside of the trailer and then the soft landing with the catch bag, the combination leads to less damage and it also saves you a tremendous amount of time because in order to recover the trailer you don't need to unload it. You can see in these additional videos the sheer power of the lifting cushions in uprighting heavy loads, a tool many tow bosses carry on their wreckers at all times. The day's training exercises showcased advanced tools and methods available to fire rescue personnel. And in fact, leading education experts are taking notes. Tim Pilson, the chairman of the Florida Society of Fire Service Instructors, says he sees wrecker assisted rescue as a concept gaining steam across the country right now. Well, just people liked it, 
they didn't know that they could use a wrecker in that way because we, you know, we, we don't do that down here, but I think it's coming of, of age. I know New York has got a, I think they, their department actually has a wrecker on the department now, and uh, same thing in California. So I see it coming maybe as a trend to start using wreckers because there's so many tools that you can use off of a wrecker with the winches and the lift capabilities, the stabilization of it, that it, you know, if you can afford to have one, it would be a good tool to have because you can do a lot with them as far as, um, victim recovery or, or, or stabilizing a car or turning it over whatever you need or moving things if you need to. My name is Conrad Cairns. I work for Daytona Beach Fire Department. Uh, I have seen a lot of new tools in the way of some of the heavy duty lift bags they have over there. Uh, uh, they're, they're capable of lifting much more than what we carry so it's nice to know that those assets are available to us. Oh, we appreciate everything that's available to us and uh, thank you very much for having us out here. I'm trying to get a lot of people here but I appreciate Dave Lander letting us come out here in Jordan bringing the wreckers down to uh, let us put this class on because, like I said, I think it's a benefit to the firefighters to go through something like this to see a new technique and a new way of doing business. Thank you for watching this edition of Savatech TV. For more information on training of this type or the rescue and recovery equipment you have seen in this video, please visit savatech.com.